Okay guys, so today's declutter is foundations. Let's do this. Let's declutter, let's get rid of, because there are some of these that I just do not use and they've probably gone bad. So, let's do this. First up, the ABH Stick Foundation in Porcelain. This is probably past its expiration. And to be honest, I just don't, ooh, this is like completely dried out. It's like, why? it's barely, this is dried out. I'm tossing it. Goodbye. The Laura Geller Cover Lock Cream Foundation. I actually really love this. I think it's actually been discontinued now, so I'm not getting rid of this at all. Love this. It's staying. Um, this I actually haven't even tried out yet. I don't know why it's already in my foundation drawer. I think I meant for it to be part of Foundation Frenzy, but it just didn't happen, so I've kept it in here with the intent of using it. The color looks like a pretty decent match for me. Just want to twist up so y'all can see. It seems like it's going to be a good match, so I'm going to hold on to it. Um, and I'll just have to try it out at a later date. FYI, the ones that I'm currently testing for my Foundation Frenzy series that is upcoming are not in here. So there are more than 15 foundations not in this section here. Great. Um, the Ulta Beauty Demi Matte Foundation. I think I've only used this once. I'm just going to pump a little bit out on the back of my hand here to see. Because I don't remember using it. I'm going to hold on to it until I've tried it one more time to see if I want to keep and or get rid of it. I am keeping both of my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundations. I have the shade Blanc, which is really light, and Porcelain. Oh yeah. Um, next is this, the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Foundation. I wasn't, if I'm being honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. Burt's Bees, I'm kind of surprised you don't have an expiration thing on here. I feel like that's illegal. Because this definitely doesn't come in a box of any sort. Well, with that being said, I'm getting rid of it. My two IT Cosmetics CC Plus creams, we have the one with the Illumination and the Original. These are both in the shade Fair. I am keeping both of these. The This is new, so the newer um, replacement. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in Snow. I originally did my test on the shade Swan and switched it to this, in, or no, not porcelain, I think. Whatever was a shade darker than this, and then they released more shades, and I went out and bought this, or exchanged the old one and got this. So keeping this guy, I love that foundation. This is also brand new, a recent repurchase. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid in Porcelain. I originally tried it out in the shade Fair, which was definitely a little too dark for me. I don't know how I walked around wearing that foundation, but this is the new one. I'm excited to have this. This is also a new repurchase for a future upcoming drugstore video. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in 105 Classic Ivory. This is staying because I literally just bought this. It hasn't even been opened. Yeah. Woohoo! The Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Stay in Place. This is my current go to like BB CC cream, like lightweight foundation. This is in the shade Intensity 0.5. This is good for two years, and I just opened it last June, so this is safe to stay. The NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. This was such a big deal when it was released. This is expired, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this. The LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation in the shade Ivory. This I've had for over a year. I'm going to go ahead and toss it. This I'm going to keep. The cover... The cover... Nope. The ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the shade Fair 20. It's a little bit light for me right now, but come October, November, this will fit me again. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 Porcelain. I am keeping this. I recently got rid of the other shades that I had in this one, so this is the one that got to stay. I'm keeping it. The e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Light Ivory. I don't think... I haven't used this one either. For some reason, it's also in this drawer. So I'll keep it and give it a try. 
the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in P10. This one is still good to keep, and I love this foundation. I'm not getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. The Dior Backstage Foundation in 0N. This is also a really great foundation. I'm keeping this. I have mixed feelings about keeping this guy. When's your expiration? And this might need to go. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW10. I think this is A, not the best shade for me, and two, I think I've had this too long and it needs to get tossed. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 2. This one, I think it's time for me to declutter this. It's a hair bit too dark to begin with, and I think I've had it for too long, and it is starting to run out despite what it may look on the outside, um, but this is really just from being rolled around in a drawer. The NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Mont Blanc. This is good for another year. I'll hold on to it. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh in 1C1 Cool Bone. This has no expiration on here, so what I'm going to do is open this up and see if it has any weird odors. No, it doesn't have a strange smell, and since the other Estee Lauder is good for two years, I'm going to guess that this is the same, and since this was just opened last June, I'll hold on to it. I am going to go ahead and toss this, the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD. This is the old packaging and I don't use this anymore. It kind of is separated and gross in here. It's a little hard to tell on camera, um, but this was just the white shade. I'm gonna toss that. The Jouer Essential High Coverage Creme Foundation in the shade Alabaster. This is still good to use. Um, this is a very full coverage, very, very light shade of foundation. This is like the palest one I own, I think now at this point, but keeping that. The YSL All Hours Foundation. I love this. This is in the last Foundation Frenzy. I have it in the shade BR10. Still safe. The Huda Beauty. What is this? The Huda Beauty Hashtag Faux Filter High Coverage Creme Foundation. It's good still to keep. I'll hold on to it. The Marc Jacobs. It's time for this one to go. Um, this is disgusting and separated and gross. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, and I have it in the shade 10 Ivory Light. This is a really great full coverage foundation. My only complaint is the stupid ass packaging they picked. I mean, Marc Jacobs, what was this? Great foundation, poor concept, getting rid of it. The Josie Marin Vibrancy Argon Oil Fluid Foundation in RG5 Dynamic. This I will keep. I actually really like this foundation, so it's staying. This was one of my favorite finds of Foundation Frenzy, the NARS Natural, hold on, I wanna get this right. The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Oslo is good for two years. I can hold on to it. The Fenty Beauty, uh, what are you called? Fenty Beauty, is your name not on? Oh, here it is. Pro Filter Foundation in 110. Still safe to keep and use. It's a little light for me, but to be honest, I would rather foundations be a little light so I can just add bronzer and contour. The Ilia True, why is this still here? This was the one that lost foundation friends. Did I hold on to this for like a bad makeup video? I must have, I must have. There would be no other reason for me to keep this. I'm gonna toss it though, because it's only good for 12 months. Uh, if you wanna see how badly this went, check the eye up here in the corner. I will show you, it was horrible. This is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation in the shade Formentera. And last but not least, my favorite luxury high foundation there is. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation in Porcelain number 11. Love this, keeping this. I feel like I didn't cut back very well. But at the same time, I kind of did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out the container that this and the concealers were in. I'm also gonna really quickly remove the new Foundation Frenzy ones because I don't want you guys to see them. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's three sections on either side. Concealers were in one, the foundation, 
Jesus, that was loud. The foundation frenzies were in another, and then all the rest of the foundations took up these back four spots. So how I did this is I had all the oversized in the back. You know what, I'm just going to speed through this and you guys can rearrange all these foundations. Let's do this. Okay guys, so what I've done is I put all the high-end oversized slash squeeze tube foundations over into this one. The high-end actual bottles that can fit standing up are here. All drugstore slash affordable here, concealers here, and then I will filter the foundation frenzies that I'm currently doing once I've turned this camera off into the tested to be tested. We are all set. That is it for this declutter and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.